At this point, we know that a digital camera works by letting light through a hole called an aperture that is in the lens onto a light-sensitive medium called a sensor. When you press the shutter button, a mechanism called a shutter exposes the sensor to light for a period of time. The sensor is digital and absorbs the light, then it captures and stores the image. We also know that to correctly expose your image, you need to find a balance between the three pillars of photography, ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. Exposure is all about light. After all, to capture a correctly exposed image, we're essentially just attempting to gather the right amount of light. So wouldn't it be useful for photographers if we could put the amount of light into quantifiable terms, like maybe a number or something? Well, it turns out that we can in what is known as a stop of light. As mentioned in the previous lesson, a stop of light refers to the doubling or halving of light that we use to make up an exposure. So if we have a perfectly exposed image, we can double the amount of light by adding a stop of light, or we can halve the amount of light by reducing the exposure by one stop. And we can easily do this by simply changing our ISO, shutter speed, or aperture. Shutter speed measures the length of time the sensor is exposed to light. So if we double the amount of time that the shutter stays open, we also double the amount of light, effectively increasing the exposure by one stop of light. If our shutter speed is 1 100th of a second, we can double the light by multiplying by 2, which gives us 1 50th of a second. This means that the shutter is open for twice as long, our exposure increases by one stop. And if we speed up our shutter from 1 25th of a second to 1 100th of a second, we have decreased the amount of light by two stops because we have halved our light twice. This diagram shows how shutter speed changes as light increases or decreases by a stop. Remember, all you have to do is double the shutter to increase by a stop and have to decrease by a stop. Aperture is the size of the opening that lets light through the lens and into the camera system. The bigger the aperture, the more the light that can reach the sensor. Every time you double the area of the opening of your aperture, you double the amount of light. And if you have the area, you have the amount of light reaching the sensor. From a previous lesson, we already know that large F numbers represent smaller apertures and small F numbers represent large apertures. We also know that the F number is equal to the focal length divided by the diameter of the aperture. That means that for any focal length, we can determine the diameter of the aperture by rearranging the equation. The area of a circle is equal to pi over 4 times the diameter squared. So if we have the diameter of the aperture, we can easily calculate the area of the opening. But anyway, that is already done for you in the form of this diagram. So all you have to do is memorize it. Here we see what F numbers correspond to consecutive increases and decreases in light by one stop done by halving and doubling the area of the aperture opening. At any F stop, if you multiply by 1.414, you have the area of the opening decreasing the exposure by one stop. And conversely, if you divide your F number by 1.414, you double the area of opening and increase exposure by one stop. Now we know that we can think of ISO as the measure of the image sensor's sensitivity to light. If we double the ISO, we increase exposure by one stop, and if we have it, we decrease by one stop. Now in reality, ISO is actually a little bit more complicated than that, because if you think about it, there are many different sensors of many different sizes with different circuitry and manufactured in different ways. So an ISO of 100 on two different cameras might not correspond to the same thing in terms of light gathered and what's happening inside the camera. But that is not very important, all you need to know is that ISO is a measure of the camera sensor's sensitivity to light. This diagram shows how your ISO doubles and halves to increase and decrease the exposure by a stop of light each time. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for the rest of the lessons in this class where we focus on other fundamental aspects of digital photography.